Thanks for joining me today at Slot Valley Racing. For those who don't know, my name is Dan, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be looking at this absolutely fantastic looking 1973 Camaro. It has the real-esque looking flames, and this time they're black and blue. This car looks absolutely fantastic. I love how this car looks. They've done a really great job on this car and I can't wait to get into it. Are you ready? Cause here we go. It's showtime. 10, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, so before we get going, I'd just like to say a few things. We'll start off with um, our Monday Night Live has been picking up as uh, we've been going along and it's absolutely turning out to be a one heck of a great thing for the community. I want to thank everybody who's been showing out. You guys all know who you are and uh, hey, if you're wondering what I'm talking about right now, well then you're more than welcome to join us. It's every Monday at 7 p.m. Central Time and we'll be there waiting for you. I want to thank you for that. I want to thank everybody for watching this video today. Thank you very much. I absolutely appreciate it. I want to thank my members. Man, you guys are the greatest. I thank you for that. You're going to help me grow this channel 100%. And for anybody who wanted to get a, a little skin in the game and didn't want to go broke doing it, I've created the SVR Pit Crew, and you're more than welcome to join us for 99 cents Canadian, which I believe is probably like... 60 cents American. I want to thank NYC Slots for sponsoring our Monday nights coming up. Thanks, uh, Gene. I absolutely appreciate it. You could see him at eBay. Uh, he is uh, GMQ2006. And of course, he is NYC Slots Limited. Let him know, uh, let him know I sent you. Also for the Monday giveaways, there will be a car, there will be pit kits, and there will be uh, future cars coming. Uh, giveaways of specific people who want to be um, advertising their, uh, their wares. And uh, we appreciate that. Also, I'd like to make mention of the absolutely fantastic AFX car that's coming out right away. It's the AFX Ford GT40. It's the Mark II. Number 96, it's the Daytona, and it's black and gold, or pardon me, blue and gold. So, we're there. It looks great, and it's supposed to be out right away. All right, so you guys ready? Let's get into this. But before we do, as usual, let's have a look at the packaging. All right. So let's have a look at the packaging. Here, of course, we're looking at the front. It's the Collector Series Clear Edition. And of course, they have the cardboard insert. Some do, some don't like it. I don't mind it, as long as it's not dragging on the wheels on the inside, I guess. It'd be nice if they put like a little cockpit in there kind of thing, but uh, you know, it's all good. Sure looks good. So here we are at the back. Of course, it tells a little bit about uh, the race performance, their AFX uh, spiel, uh, in several different languages. Um, it's the regular write-up. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, it'd be nice if they'd really make it uh, so we can tell which car is in here without, like, you know, uh, we should be able to tell. But anyways, here we're out the back, and of course, it's part number 22046. It, of course, is the 1973, excuse me, 1973 Camaro. Family firm. Oh, son of a... Hmm. Wildfire black and blue. Of course, by AFX Race Masters. Are you ready? Let's get into this. All right, here we go. Uh -huh.
I personally find this car really striking. It looks really good and it's gonna be an awesome addition to my collection. It's gonna be an awesome look on my track. All around, it's gonna be a welcome addition to my, my collection, of course. And I'm more than happy to be reviewing it. We're gonna have a close look at the chassis next and uh, we'll see if they got the pinion figured out on this one. <sighs> hmm. Well, okay, folks, here we go. Um, in all fairness, uh, of course, I will do this so everybody can see it. Oh, man. It is just right there. It's binding up. It's wobbling around again. Look at it bounce back and forth. It's actually pulling the whole, uh, the whole back axle side to side. If you look right there, okay, watch that little gap right there. See it bouncing back, look at that, right there. Which means, of course, the pinion gear is bouncing around like a kid's toy at a Christmas party. Not good, not good. That's gonna run like a toilet on the track. I can feel it, it's right here, it's really, uh, it's not flowing freely. It's getting caught up right here, right there. And well, 50-50, the red one was perfect. It was just molded crappy, but at least the pinion was straight. This one, well, let's just say uh, the pinion's garbage. I'm gonna have to trade it out because I cannot use that. You can see how it's pulling the back axle left to right. I'll be back.